In this video, I will show you how to apply border radius correctly inside child widget of a container widget. So in my code here, I'm displaying an image using image.asset widget inside a container widget. In this container widget, I have applied circular border radius but when you look at the emulator app display, the border radius does not apply to the image. Actually, the border radius is applied but not to the image child widget. So to explain this more clearly, I will change the box decoration to foreground decoration parameter. Now let's hot restart the app and you can see the actual problem. So the app has restarted and you can see that the container actually applied the border radius, but the image does not clip to the container. That's why the border radius does not apply to the child widget of the container. So now I will show you two ways to solve this clipping issue. Firstly, Wrap the container widget with a widget called Clip R Wrap. This widget will create a rounded rectangular clip. Now we have to move the border radius value from container widget to Clip R Wrap widget parameter. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, the border radius successfully applied to the image. This is the first way which you wrap the container widget with a new widget. Now if you wanted to remain the border radius value in the container widget, you can follow the second way. Before we continue, let me add back the border radius to the container widget. Now in this case, container widget actually provides a parameter called clip behavior. This parameter by default set to clip.none. So in order to apply border radius to the child widget, you can set the parameter value to clip.hardedge. Now let's try out in the emulator. So as you can see, it does apply the border radius to the container child widget. This way is much more cleaner compared to the first way in terms of code quality. Conclusion, this is how you apply border radius correctly to the child widget in a container widget. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.